Welcome back everyone to Tales of Drang Lake. Uh, we're starting out just a little bit up the road from where we last ended the episode here. Uh, I decided to not summon the very unfortunately renamed Abyss Fever, who is now Abyss some other bullshit. <sighs> Man, I don't like that change. That is... That goes into the bad changes uh, Excel table that I'm keeping. I'm not keeping that, don't worry. I'm not insane. I'm definitely not. Is there two people in there? Or is one of them a Skelly? The two of them are Skellies. It's actually three people in there. So yeah, um, in today's... Oh, hello there. In today's episode, we're going to move on in Huntsman Scopes and probably also get up to Earthen Peak and unlikely that I will get up to oh shit I'll just keep him coming boys I just said I like this set in the previous episode of course I haven't gotten the best piece of it which is the helmet or the headpiece I should say but hey I'm not I'm not too bad I'm not too mad about that. Merciless Rhyna. There she is. God, that tracking. <laughs> oh, Dark Souls, welcome back. I've missed you. I just got done playing uh, the Hunter Guide. It's Dark Souls 1. So it might take me a little bit to adjust. Luckily, she is using by far the most worthless weapon category in the entire game, which are the scythe type weapons. As good as they were in a Dark Souls, you probably know that ENB scientifically proved that the Great Scythe is the best dex weapon, and I ain't gonna argue with that. Uh, comparatively, in this game, sides are absolutely useless. I think they're called Reapers in this one. The main reason is, probably everybody knows, but they have this weird, oh hello there, sweet spot mechanic which makes them just absolutely worthless. You need to be so exact to hit your opponent correctly and actually do the full damage that, that the weapon is meant to do, that it's insane. I'm just thinking, was that sorcerer always able to hit you from that little opening? I don't know. This is definitely the lighter version of... God, I'm just blanking on area names today. You know, the annoying area with all the sorceresses that shoot magic at you. The one that has the demon of song at the end. Why can't I? Why am I so dumb? Oh, there you are. I was just about to ask. And now all of you are dead. Shrine of Amana. There it is. I knew it. And it only ever takes a little bit of time. You know, I was gonna say, do I trust myself to make this jump, but I'm glad I did. See, I know how to play this game. Oh shit, warmth is there? Something I'm never gonna use, but cool, warmth. There it is. Definitely, you know what we haven't gotten so far? The key. <laughs> oh shit. Get katana bitch. It would be a shame not to have the key. Not that I don't trust myself to... <coughs> to be able to fight the... Let me just see. 
Nah. Not that I don't trust myself to be able to defeat the skeleton lords. But still. This is the convenient bonfire to do that from. Maybe they just go easy on us and it's right here. Nope. No, it's not. Maybe the door is already open. Did I consider that? No, I did not. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what if he has the key? Oh, he definitely has the key. Right? What the? <laughs> you have got to be shitting me. Bro. Look at this asshole like Mario karting around here. There you go, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, bitch. It's a fucking life gem. I did all that for a single life gem. Hey, I don't even mind. Did you see him? He was hauling. Yeah, it's locked. He was hauling ass, that's for sure. I almost. I almost give kudos to him. Well, shit then. Okay, the boy is a little bit lost. Well, not a lot lost, but you know. Lost in the sense that. Where the fuck is the key? Definitely ain't here. Yeah, it's the other way where the arena is. But you know what? Fuck it. I don't know if I'm gonna remember to come back and look through this place. What? Whatever. Let's just... Let's just take a look here. At this boss. Whether they changed anything. I have a feeling they didn't. It doesn't look like... The bosses have overgone too many changes. For this mod. Which I don't necessarily mind. You know, whenever you mess with the bosses too much. I feel like that always just creates chaos. Because, you know. There are some mods that try to add like new movesets. And new phases and all that. And again, in my experience. It always just ends up being a little bit messy. Holy fuck, is that a lot of damage or what? You know what, just kill him. You might think I screwed myself here with by doing that, but... Listen. You are dealing with a pro Dark Souls 2 player. Telling you. Did only two bone wheels spawn? Seriously? I thought there used to be a lot more. Maybe there's more of these skellies. Well, that was as insanely easy as they are in the main game. These dudes are bitches. Well, cool. I guess we're getting to the... Earthen Peak a little bit quicker than I expected. But seriously, I gotta like somehow not forget to go back and search for the key. Because... Creighton... Well, he has a pretty okay quest line. A bit annoying to manipulate because you gotta get him and patches to start fighting. Um, but I don't know. Technically, yeah, this is Harvest Valley, not Earthen Peak. And technically, we're going back to Majula. Oh shit, why is she over there? 
That's really strange. She just took a little vacation talking to the map guy. Yeah, 6 class, I know. That is really weird. Cool. I think I'm happy with that. I don't think I have anything to repair or upgrade or anything, so let's just go back. See, the thing is, I'm gonna be honest with you. Not having the key and Creighton's area unlocked is bothering me, honestly. So we're gonna take a look around in Huntsman's Copes. I know this might seem like we're wasting time, but listen. There is no wasting time when you're having fun, right? Because, yeah, this is bugging the hell out of me. It could be that. Plus, if I get lucky, I might just be able to pick up the last piece of the Desert Sorceress slash Sorcerer set. It's hauling gas. This ain't it. Um, I swear, enemies are just asleep in this game sometimes. <laughs> Hey, who cares? They wanna die. Oh, it might be in there. It might be in there. So this is the thing. Rearranged items do lead to this type of guessing game. Oh fuck, it's Cyan Knight. What the hell? Did this exist in the vanilla game? In Scholar? It had to have. We just never come here. Oh, okay, that's... Thank you, Cyan Knights, for being you. Always a pleasure to interact with. Imagine if this was a mimic. God, that would be evil. Just sublime bone dust. This must be like here already, but no, 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 it is. Yeah, yeah, I have come down here before. This is weird. I never do it. Hey, I guess we have another sublime. I don't mind. But I was gonna say there's one place, one other place I can think of where the key might be, and that is right here, bro. Chill, chill, chill. Look at them. They're chasing me. Man, the katana is so good in Dark Souls too. Katana type weapons. It's just... You wreck shit. It's not even funny. Yeah, there's a reason why they were so used. It's just the Nosh whip. The whip. There's a reason they were so widely used in PvP. Before the fucking Ice Rapier came along. <laughs> oh man. It's like... You know when you have like a really OP character in a fighting game? And... Everybody uses that one fucking character. Like... I don't know. Probably not Deadshot from Injustice 2 because Deadshot wasn't actually that widely used. But... I can think of a couple. Moron Combat being the prime, like, offender. Alien. That's what the Ice Rapier was to this game. Just came along and wrecked the hell out of the PvP. Okay, so I legit do not know where the key could be. And... I think I'm ready to... Admit defeat. I have like two pairs of the gloves now, so... You know what? There's one more place I'm gonna check. Really the final place, and then we can move on in peace to Earth and Peak. Of course, the disadvantage of playing mods is 
if you have something like this, you don't know where an item is, there is actually no way to look it up. You just have to you just have to play. I'm saying that like it's a negative thing. It's absolutely not. Fuck. Ah, screw it. Let's just go back. Alright, Harvest Valley it is. Keep calling this place Earth and Peak, but you you know what I mean. It's basically It's a little bit pointless to have these two areas be separated, but whatever. What an indie haircut. She straight up looks like she's just like from our world. Anyways, she has a lot of dialogue. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she's... Wait, she sells the Bone Fist? Excellent. The Bone Fist is dope. That is a dope weapon. It's, um... You become like Heihachi. Alright, let's get her to move. It's really been so long since I listened to her uh, dialogue. Look at this Kelly listening to the ground. But yeah, it's just so weird how much she, l like, how out of place she looks in this game, if you like. She's almost like, uh, what's his name? I really am, like, being stupid here with the names today. I can't remember the fucking name of anything. Dark Souls dude in the DLC. I was gonna say Patches, but obviously that's wrong. Chester. Marvelous Chester. Yeah, she really is like a Marvelous Chester type. Except for the fact that she isn't. Uh, in that she's not actually uh, from like another time or something. These things are so stupid. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'll get to the poison later. Shit, that dealt a lot of damage. Maybe it's just worth draining the poison before coming back here. But I don't tend to do that. It just feels like right. Yeah, I'm, you know I'm happy to be listening to the dialogues. It's just you realize how much you don't remember. Just. Not that there's any significance to these lines, but, you know, it flashes out the story. I'm not going through this game at a million miles per hour. Oh, shit. Twist. It's Lucatil. It's good because she is in a weird place in this area normally. She's happy, like, she's, she's like, difficult to see. And it's annoying. Just pop an effigy, Lucatil, come on. It's been ages since I listened to this dialogue as well. Oh, 
Oh, we're gonna see him as well. What do you mean? I'm right here. Cool. All right, Luke Thiel. Well, that was certainly a depressing conversation, to say the least. And these fucking crystal lizards. Oh, they made them a little bit less annoying. Apparently, I still couldn't... Fuck. Wait, hold on a second. I just realized. I was like, what the hell? But then... It dawned on me that this is completely different. Oh, come on. Yeah, you don't want to go down there, do you? Into this stink. I don't, don't even have a clue how you're supposed to navigate this. I saw a ladder there somewhere. Did I get it? Yeah. Please tell me I'm on the... Ugh, I'm on the other side, but not at the correct place. Fuck, that does a lot of damage. Okay, this was kind of a dick move, mod makers. God, I keep skipping things on accident. Because uh, I keep mashing. My fault, I guess, but still. Yeah, fuck off out of here. Oh man, this is awful. Seriously. Ah, oh, shit. There's a reason I don't go here in the vanilla game. Okay, you know what? We, we may just have to like warp out of here. Fucking hell. I really do wonder if the torch does anything here. What an awful idea. Again. I know, I know very, I know the fact very well of why I don't go here, as in I go, don't go down the tunnels, it's because of that shit. The rest is doesn't refill, fucking hell. Oh, you don't have to go down there. Okay. Redo. Redo. That was a... Okay, I should have looked around a little bit more. Fair point to me. That was that was pretty stupid. That does mean that I think these crystal lizards can officially bite the dust. Come on! You have got to be shitting me. Yeah, technically clubs are the best weapons, I think, for taking these things out. Uh, the jumping attack works really well. But I don't think I have one of those. Speaking of... I gotta do some inventory management again. I said I would actually, like, try to manage my inventory well and so far I've been okay with keeping that promise oh yeah you gotta get the thing to the monster to break it it's just it's not as easy to do as you think fuck <laughs> Jesus oh this is a okay we are in trouble we are we we are a hundred percent in trouble. Okay. I see you, game. I see you. <laughs> just someone just screamed there. Nice. Um. Fuck. Well, okay. I still have this shitty ring of binding on I don't know why now it's okay but I should really certain like swap it out for the covetous fucking finally Jesus that was way more effort than a crystal lizard should have taken and all three of those 
Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, you gotta get him to hit you with a mail hit it with a melee attack. These things barely do melee attacks. Come on. Come on. Yes. Thank you for your cooperation, Ferator. <clears throat> Is the Please tell me there's something actually useful here. There officially isn't. All right. Well, that was a waste of time. See, now I know the deal here. I'm prepared. It's all about knowing what's up ahead. Or something like that. Holy f- and you might still just get fucked. I mean the ambush exists in vanilla as well, but it's just these double scythe wielding idiots. I got it. It doesn't fit the vibe of this character, but... God, that thing looks so good. That is such a good piece of armor. No wonder it's a fan favorite or something. So really the thing that I'm questioning is where the hell will the next bonfire be? You know, not that I'm impatient. But I'm curious. I mean, this bonfire placement was always a little bit weird. Uh, they're so close together that it's a little bit pointless, really. And I see you'll be able to drop that down. Let's go and do that. I could go into the poison swamp more, but I'm sure this shit ain't gonna. Oh, wait! Hold on. I thought this would be a ladder you could kick down. And it's not. Okay, then. Hmm. So if there is no bonfire here, this would get pretty annoying. Seriously? Oh, so evil. God, I hate this place with a passion. Got to like, they just had to like bong it up this much. Technically, the. There is a bonfire at the Sunlight Covenant, right? I think there is. Unless they like deleted that shit from the game. Abyss, or I mean, Sunlight Covenant, thank fuck for you. Um, this is a really appreciated bonfire, actually. Fair play, because this actually made Earthen Peak a little bit more interesting than it normally is, so GG's. Uh, it is always a good thing and you gotta get the gesture you know what I'm gonna become a sombro it just it just feels right it definitely does cool well here's what we're gonna do people I am going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here this is such a nice uh, cap off point we had like excitement ups and downs everything you could ask for in an episode so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here if you did enjoy this video make sure to give it a like comment subscribe turn on post notifications and i hope to catch you next time as well
Peace out and goodbye.